YouTube and welcome to this week's Site Catalyst 15 tutorial. I received a question on Twitter uh, to go into a little bit more detail about nesting in segments and um, how the AND and OR clauses uh, work within segments with, with the nesting. So I thought I would just put together a real quick little um, tutorial on um, the nesting on segments and um, what constitutes an AND versus an OR clause within the nesting. Um, if you want to see the uh, full tutorial on how to do segments and segmentation, I will put a link down below with a link to the video that I've previously done that goes into more detail about segments in general. I'm going to focus just on this nesting. And as you can see here, I have already created um, a few things uh, and put things, some things together into a segment which I'm actually not going to create. I just wanted to do this to highlight um, the differences here. So uh, one of the things you'll note is that here under this visit, and I've already put a rule in for this visit, um, geosegmentation equals United States, and then I added two events, um, contact form viewed, contact form submitted. And um, basically, so you have your main component here, and then you're nesting a couple of items uh, within it. Uh, these two items um, end up using, by default, an AND clause. So uh, in this particular case, um, this particular segment would say that um, all of um, the traffic from the United States who viewed the contact form and submitted the contact form. Um, and, and it would exclude anyone um, who didn't um, view and submit. So if you viewed only and you didn't submit, um, you, it wouldn't include that. Um, and, and whether or not it actually makes any sense to do a segment like this, but I just wanted to kind of illustrate that point. Um, and I see here that I, you'll notice that I have two visits. So um, in this particular case, because there's two visits, um, and then there's a second one here, the visit referring domain equals google.com. And so that constitutes an OR clause. So we have um, the segment actually looking at visits, um, where the country equals the United States and the contact form was viewed and submitted or the referring domain equals google.com. And that's what this whole segment um, basically says here. And that's all on the include side. Um, there's also an exclude side where you can also um, nest things as well. And here I have excluded all visits that uh, come from the state of Colorado just to kind of highlight that, that you can actually both include and exclude um, things within here. And one other thing um, that you'll want to note is that, so this is a visit segment. Okay, I can nest a page view segment under it. But I'm going to nest one. Um, I can't nest another page view underneath a page view. Um, I'd have to kind of put them in parallel. And that, again, creates um, an OR statement and not an AND statement. And then you'll also notice that I can't nest visitors under page views or visits. Um, basically, you can nest visits under visitors and pa uh, page views under visitors and visits, um, but you can't do it the other way around. So the visitors is the biggest bucket, visits is the, uh, the middle bucket, page views is the... Um, most narrow bucket and so you can't put um, the the big bucket inside the small bucket. Uh, we're not, for anyone who's a Doctor Who fan, you're, we're not living in the TARDIS. <laughs> um, sorry, geek joke. Alright, so that basically is, is how it works, is that um, the, uh, the, the, these containers here, um, because they, they can't be um, nested um, equally, um, on the same level, they're going to be an OR statement, especially the visits, they're definitely an, um, it's an OR statement there. But the ones that can be uh, nested in parallel to each other um, constitutes an AND statement. So I hope that answers um, your question, and uh, thank you for the question on Twitter. If anyone has any questions um, or wants me to go into more depth on any of my tutorials, please leave a comment below either in this 
uh, video or on the relevant video where um, you have a question related to that. Um, I am more than happy to make additional tutorials or even answer questions directly in the comments. Um, so thank you for joining me this week and uh, look forward to, uh, to the next tutorial next week. And please, if you found this helpful, please like the video. And if you haven't yet, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you and take care.